Oh babies, hello my sexy Libras, I'm a Libra rising too. <laughs> so, let's see, how would they <clears throat> do the nasty things to you? Ooh, they would love to stick things inside of you. <laughs> and like, depending on your um, preferences, and the uh, sexual orientation and the the gender you have they'd love to stick things inside of you and or they would love when you stick things inside of you or them <laughs> and or them and i see um quite a lot of they love sex toys a lot and they would love to see you play with sex toys. Uh, this is the card of Mars in Leo. And Mars is sexuality, masculine type of sexuality. And um, Leo is all about play <laughs> and being romantic. So they would love... Um, also, they would love to dress you up. They would love role play and just a lot of costumes sexy costumes and they they love to rip your clothes off i mean like they would love that not not necessarily rip your clothes off because uh, we're libras okay our sign is venus we don't like that we care for our possessions our sign our planet sorry our planet is venus we care for our possessions and our clothes and stuff like that but let's say you have um, something with buttons. They would love to, you know, just rip it <laughs> or things like that. At the same time, I also see something like they would love to take their time. And um, let's say you have something like um, something with a knot. They would love to slowly untie that knot there and and you know take it uh take it off and stuff like that it's uh yeah <laughs> and again they love role play they love mommy daddy play <laughs> whether it be mommy daddy play um like both of you calling one another mommy daddy Whether it's be whether it be like um, daddy little girl or mommy little boy type of uh, BDSM <laughs> relationship, you know, sexy. And in this kind of relationship, they have it's a very powerful way for them to express their emotions for you. This is Mars in Aries, in a, not in Aries, sorry, in Pisces. <laughs> it's um. It, it, it's sweet for them because it's you know someone is authority someone has a position of authority in the relationship and the other is more in a position of being the the protected one and libras i know we love to be the protected one <laughs> now the bottom of the deck and don't worry i'm still gonna pull some cards <laughs> the bottom of the day. and with this I, I sense this thing of like prolonged pleasure a lot and um if there is some competition for you my baby libras right now they would love to just sweep off <laughs> they would love to throw that person away just like <laughs> Just like that. As it, cause what I'm getting is like this hierophant just moving his hand like phew, and this other person just disappears. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> so baby, they want you. They want you. <laughs> it's not necessary to, to, you know, it's not necessary for them to know about this competition. There could be, there could not be competition for you at this point. But in any case, they see you as someone very desirable. And with Libra rising, especially, not only, 
But Libra Rising gives a lot of beauty, my baby. <laughs> Libra generally. Libra is the sign of beauty, the physical beauty of harmony. Okay, play again. Play and this thing of child play again. Those of you who get triggered by this, yeah, I don't care. They'd love to be your sugar daddy or sugar mama. And I get this thing of... Especially if you have some other air placements, like I do with a lot of Gemini, for example. They would love to swing this. <laughs> they would love uh, mostly them to be the one who is the authoritarian, authoritative, authoritative, authoritative <laughs> figure in their relationship. So let's say they are a masculine. They'd love to be the daddy. <laughs> And you'll be the little girl, my baby. And um, if if you resonate with the other way around, they'd love that. Whatever you resonate with, okay. But they they'd love to play a little with this. As I said, they would love them to be the one in control most of the time. Dominance. They would love to be the one dominating, but it's not that much about dominance anymore. It's it's about taking care of you. Oh, babies and Libras, we love that. We love to be taken care of. <laughs> we love that a lot. And <laughs> Oh, baby, Ooh. <laughs> they'd love to be this shining figure for you, like the sun here. They'd love to play a lot, and not just not just at sex, not just when having sex. They'd love to play a lot. They'd love to have games with you, not stupid games, not not play with you, like the bad thing. <laughs> they'd love to literally play games with you, like fun games, like. I don't know, you name a game and they, they'd love to play it with you. It's something to have fun together. They'd love to take you places and then show you their happy side. They'd love to be funny with you and they love how they can be... They can show their inner child with you. They can crack up jokes, silly jokes with you and stuff like that. And I see this thing of both the masculine like son here mature figure and the child here it's like you activate both sides of them they they want to be this as i said authority figure for you to take care of you to protect you like a sugar daddy or a sugar mama and at the same time they themselves love how much they how comfortable they feel around you how much they can be Somewhat in their comfort zone, but not really. <laughs> it's it, it's kind of a paradox here because this is not their comfort zone because they cannot be this comfortable around any other person. They cannot be this much of themselves around any other person. Well, get shivers right now. It's only you. And if you've been wondering, by the way, about that Hierophant card... If there's anyone who ever sparked this kind of interest in them, no. <laughs> it's only you, baby. Ah, and I hear this. It's only you, baby. Wow, super. And now that I said that, I, I see this thing like they would love to be that kind of like a Superman for you, you know? Because uh, I said super and also this thing here is like a cape here. And the sun, it's like they would love to be the hero for you. They would love to show up for you and be there for you and do things for you and show you they care with how much, how many things they do for you and how well they do. At the same time, it's there's a lot of pain to them. There's a lot of pain that they don't express. Hold on a little. Because they have this joyous side that they'd love to, to share with you. But at the same time... Okay, this card shows me two things. One of them is not sexual, the other is sexual. I'll start with the sexual. 
And I want to thank myself for this gift that I'm sharing with you now. Okay. The sexual thing is that they have a lot of fantasies, a lot of dark fantasies I hear, like dark fantasies, fantasies that they haven't shared with anyone, or maybe if they did, they were rejected. They tried, but they were rejected. And they feel very comfortable with you, but I see that even in sex, you only saw their light side. It's the... Or if you haven't yet been intimate, you you could only into... Like... They would only show you their light side at first. Funny, jokes, hilarious, and then a nice kind of sex, you know? But then... They have a lot of dark fantasies that they haven't expressed with anyone else. And I see that this hasn't even... It's a, it's a double situation. Like, for some of you, they have tried to explore those fantasies. It's like they have had these fantasies from before you, for some of you. For another part, another segment of the, the Libras watching this, they haven't had this kind of fantasies before. It's only you stirring them up like that. Whoa, and uh, whew, it's a, uh, it's a lot. They have a lot of dark fantasies, and they, they're wondering if you would accept them. They're wondering if you would love to dive there with you, with them. Okay, <laughs> it's like how I've just said it. It's like when they're with you, they can't even focus that much anymore. They can't even focus that well anymore on what they say and how they phrase. What they say is, is you, you, you put them in such a state that no one ever put them in. <laughs> no one ever put them in. <laughs> if you're the one receiving it, uh, that thing with no one ever put them in, the way you do, ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I sense this thing of, whether they have Scorpio placements or not. I sense this, sense this thing of they, they want to caress you and make that kind of... Like, make love to you. That kind of passionate Scorpio type of sexuality, which is making love, making sex with the soul, not with the body. Not only with the body, but communing with you spiritually. No matter how awakened they are they 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 would love to dive in into this kind of sexuality such a, a very spiritual type of sexuality with you wow this is nice and the, i'm getting this thing again like this is a dog and this is a wolf both canine canine beings connected to the moon one domestic the other wild and it's like they want to, there's a lot of loyalty to them. They want to express to you how loyal they are to you and how much you awaken inside of them these feelings of loyalty. And at the same time, how much you awaken inside of them is such a crazy type of passion that no one ever did before. Like a very crazy type of passion. And at the same time, they would love to start a family with you. Or if they already have a family, like children, if they already are a parent, a single parent, they'd love to have something further with you as well, like for the future. And if that is the case, they don't know how to blend these two worlds together. And this is not only for those who are single parents, this is also for those who are not parents yet, they still have things to do, responsibilities that they have to take care of, and they don't know how to blend these two worlds together. Now, this scares them, because you have awakened inside of them a love which is so pure that they've... they haven't had it in a very long while. Or if it hasn't been a long while, it could be this. 
They haven't had it in a very long while. It could be this other thing. They have been... They, they, they did feel this kind of love for someone more or less recently. Like, compared to the previous case, it's more recent, but not that recent. Someone who couldn't understand this kind of love. And couldn't offer them this kind of love as well. And they feel, they, they, their intuition tells them that you could give them this kind of love, that, 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 that you are capable of this kind of love, but they are scared. Because they don't want, to, this is for both cases, they don't want to open up anymore to such kind of, because opening up to such kind of love also opens them up to a similar type of hurt. In intensity. And they don't want to get hurt anymore. The, the They loved before. Both cases. The thing is that in the, in the second case. They loved and they got destroyed. Literally is what I'm feeling. It's, 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 I was about to say betrayed. But that betrayal destroyed them. It destroyed them. It destroyed every kind of love that they thought they could ever feel for anyone else. It, it, they thought that they could never feel that kind of love for anyone else ever again because they thought that was all the love they were capable of. And now you awakened this... Oh, my babies, listen up. I get this. Wow, Libras, my babies, what we're going through. Wow. <laughs> you awakened inside of them a love that only... They only felt once before with only one other person that betrayed them, that took away that love and, and, and it's, it's, it's like that love didn't matter at all, at all. The fact that they loved them did not matter at all. They took advantage of them. They, they took advantage of their innocence, of their purity. This person would do things for the person they loved. A lot of things like they would offer them this cup and they would have another cup and another and another and another blah, blah. and think with this card is that these cups are not with water they are with flowers okay so these are very different something very material grows out of them it's not just water as in other cups cards it's not just water it's flowers. It means these flowers have nutrients in those cups enough to grow. You get what I mean? There was a lot of life and a lot of intention to grow things, to build something together. And they were offering to this person and giving things to... Well, offering, giving things to this person, same thing. Doing things for this person. And this person just wouldn't give a shit they would only take advantage of them. They would see... What they would see was not a love. They would only see a person doing things for them and they would treat this person... They would consider this person as a fool. Someone who is very stupid and be like, why the fuck are they doing so many things for me? Why? <laughs> They're so stupid. And they took advantage of them. They were scheming them. They were profiting from them. They, all the bad stuff they were taken advantage of in a very bad way, in a very cruel way. <laughs> it's sad. And I feel this as a mirroring situation. I feel this as something that this person also awakened inside of us with a similar type of story because my babies, if this story resonated with you as well, with someone in the past that you cared for so much, you thought you would never love anyone else, and you did all those things for them, and they just mistreated you like that. It's a mirroring situation. And, and remember, we, Libra, is the mirroring sign. Uh, let's not say we, because that involves ego. Libra, as an energy, 
either a zodiac sign or a constellation, however perspective you, whatever perspective of the two you want to have. Libra is the sign of mirrors. Libra energy understands itself better when they have someone in front of them. Is the sign of mirrors. When they have someone in front of them to relate to, to talk to, to, to relate, to have a relation with. How does this manifest? I'll give you one example. Me, I, I am very much capable of understanding myself. When I talk about the things I go through, I talk about them with my friends. And that's when I myself, from myself, get a lot of downloads from my experiences and about those things. So this this is a mirroring situation. Okay, baby, so be careful with this person. Don't betray them. Don't take advantage of them. And I feel like they themselves are very much trying to tread very carefully with you exactly because they know how this feels they know what it is what it means to have feelings deep feelings for someone and they kind of into it the fact that you yourself may be catching feelings for them and they themselves <laughs> babies i would not be surprised if this is also another libra <laughs> boom <laughs> Not necessarily your Libra rising. It could be Libra rising. It, it could very well be another Libra rising. <laughs> At the same time, it could be a Libra sun. Or a Libra moon. Or a Libra Venus. <laughs> and, woof. and if you're wondering, like, if you are thinking about two people at the time, you know, about that Hierophant card, if there are two people in your romantic life at this point. It's kind of both of them. It's very possible that both of them have Libra placements. I was uh, Scorpio and some Mars... It's like their Mars is very important. Well, obviously, Mars is sexuality. <sighs> okay, I I want to have one more card. Okay, two showed up. They've been having a lot of sleepless nights. Ah! Or like moments when they were trying to focus on something else. But they couldn't because you were there in the back of their mind. Let's say they were scrolling through their phone, through their messages, through their emails, whether it be on their phone, personal emails, or at work, something. Or, or I don't know, it's just... I get this thing with technology. <laughs> like they were on their computer or phone or something like that. and they, Or they could have been watching videos, something, and they would zone out and start thinking about you and five minutes later or, or 15 minutes later they would remember okay <laughs> i gotta get back to the real situation i'm like the real moment i'm in the present moment what the fuck <laughs> and i sense that it's um again i'm grateful for this gift that i'm having to this gift that I'm having and, and sharing it with you and showing it to you. I sense this. You have triggered things inside of them. You have triggered their past wounds inside of them. A lot of that. And they may be going through a lot of turmoil at this point. Even astrologically, a lot of things, chaotic astrology may be going on in their chart, like their native birth chart and their transits to that. And this card is called Lord of Cruelty. There are two situations here. 
one situation is that of a person who got hurt in the past. You see, this is something that not most people talk about when it comes to this card. This action, this scene depicted here. You see there's someone on the ground and another person with a stick or a sword beating them. Or they could have already hit them to fall and they are about to hit them again, stuff like that. And this person could be the victim or the abuser or both. Because many times it happens that when someone is a victim in the first place, their mind gets so crazy and fucked up that later on they get to be an abuser. Consciously or subconsciously. Now, for the person who was the victim of past betrayal in the past, they're thinking a lot about that and they don't want to risk it. I'm sorry about that sound. Sorry about that, my babies, and I'm sorry about this. I kind of have to cover the sound from outside because I cannot concentrate with that terrible sound. I'm very sensitive to that. I, I There must be very harmonious music sounds around me. <laughs> Even people's voices, I cannot tolerate them if they are not harmonious. <laughs> so I have to cover it to concentrate further and you'll hear this music on the background. So <laughs> they have been... Oh. Uh, pff, okay. I'm not getting enough of the reading <laughs> with. What I sense here is that they were a victim of abuse. I see this verbal violence and abuse. And they were manipulated in childhood and, and later on by their partners. And <sighs> They are overthinkers, they think a lot, and, and, and they, they have been thinking a lot about this situation and what decision to take, to take, but if they themselves have leave replacements, oh, they are very indecisive. And to a certain degree, I sense that someone has made the decision. Not just you, because you watching, I know you. Mm. Some of you have made the decision, some of you haven't. If, um, you know, you're in a... If there are two people competing for your favors, <laughs> for your attention, for, for you. And... Um, yeah, some of you have made the decision, some of you haven't. Now, this person has been thinking a lot and what I was getting is that you triggered a lot of past wounds inside of them. And I was getting this thing with this card. There's a song and the name of that song is Should I? And there's a line in that song... Even though reality gon' slap me straight, its hand might break, got so many things in my head. So I, I feel like this is them at this point. If you wanna listen to that song, it's Should I by R-I-L-E-S. <laughs> He's French. But it's in English. The song is in English. And... <laughs> Hmm. When I listened, when I first heard that song, it was, I was in a car with some other people and someone put that song and I just felt it. I felt it being about my person at that time, which is that person who betrayed me, <laughs> who's also a Libra rising. <laughs> Fuck. 
<gasps> but <laughs> okay now this person or if you're asking about two people i mean you could have come here with one of them in your mind but the parent like it, maybe both of them showed up it's and yes, if you're wondering about this thing, if it's uh, it's for both of them, this thing with dark fantasies. <laughs> of course, everyone may have dark fantasies of their own. You only know if you ask them and explore them together. Yeah, I'm kind of encouraging you now to do that. <laughs> but coming back to the Emperor card. They love to be in control. Both of these people, if there are two people, if there is only one person. Yeah, they love to be in control. And um, especially if they are masculine. They want them to be the one who initiates stuff. And now babies understand you so very well if... Like, this person of yours is like, man, or like, both people that I ever cared, truly cared about. They both are, take oh, a lot, a very long time until they initiate something. And it's, 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 uh, I want action. So this is us as well. This is talks about action. It's a card ruled by Mars. And I was getting the importance of Mars in the beginning. By the way, you see both cards. Mars, Mars, you see? <laughs> and then the sun. It's a, it's a lot of masculine, um, fiery energy. This doesn't mean that you have to be a masculine. But it's a lot of fire energy. On both sides. <laughs> Of course, expressed differently. And it's one of us honoring our uh, individuality, gratefully. Now, when you take action, it scares them. It scares them. <laughs> they want to be in control. And they sense you are on similar position. As I said, this card talks about both people. Both you and your person. And if, again, you're uh, thinking about two people, it's uh, both of them. Both you and one of them, both you and another one of them. It's, it's, it's a mirroring situation. Maybe you yourself, you don't want to be that much in control. Unless you're the masculine one in the relationship. <laughs> the masculine, the, the one wanting to be more, wanting to be in control. But the feminine is waiting on the masculine to, you know, have initiative. And he doesn't because he's too much in his head. And when that happens, like, the feminine also takes initiative also proposes things to to the masculine like let's do this or let's do that or something invites them to to do something together it could just be sex it could just be hey come over and let's have sex it scares them <laughs> because they want to be the one guiding it all because they sense you're more ready Obvious, like, the feminine is always more ready for the relationship than the stupid masculine. Fuck you all. And, uh... <laughs> they want things to move at their pace. It, it's a thing of both people want things to move at their pace. One of them is faster than the other. So, yeah, as advice for this, 
like whether you should let things happen at their pace or also involve yourself in the initiative. However you feel it. And honestly now, my babies, if they have, if they struggle with this, if this triggers them, that's their problem, not yours. Also, I sense, at, like, at the same time, this kind of lack of action from them also triggers you. So it's a trigger, trigger type of situation. And I sense that this is divinely guided because you are meant to trigger one another and solve your issues by both of you triggering one another. <laughs> Okay, further messages to conclude this. I don't want to know. No, this is enough. It's, uh, it's enough. <laughs> Why I stopped? Because I sensed that the, anything else, any, any other card would confuse me further. So I'll leave this reading as it is for now. Okay, babies, I love you. Please, please tell me how how this reading resonated for you, my babies. I love you.